For this season of Top Quad, we want to find out whether it's the rider or the machine that makes the biggest difference. We've got two machines with about 30 horsepower and two machines with about double that. Our riders have varying skill levels, and so far in the first episode, we discovered that on tight technical courses that the rider made the biggest difference. However, in the last episode, we had courses designed with longer straightaways to see if the horsepower of the more powerful machines could outdo the rider skill. While the margins were much closer, it was still apparent that skill does matter even in a drag race. For this episode, we've got a hill climb that's got an uphill and a downhill section, and we'll also be doing a finale lining all the riders up doing a competition that is a combination of all of the challenges so far. So will rider skills still be able to bridge the gap between rider and machine even on the long uphill that requires lots of horsepower to make it to the top? I just don't know. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to Top Quad Season 2. We are on Episode 3. So far, Heat and Tyrese are leading with 3-2. to two. We've got the hill climb and the finale today. This is going to be a great episode. If you guys have been enjoying this series, please consider leaving a thumbs up and also hitting that subscribe button. I'm shooting for that 200,000 subscriber mark. Let's grow the Save Sport Quad community, guys. Let's get it. All right, now, the hill climb actually turned out to be one of my favorite events. If you guys saw Top Quad Series 1, man, the hill climb, I just hated it. I always disliked hill climbs. However, things have changed man with rider experience you know you just start to like harder obstacles and stuff like that i'm not gonna lie i did not enjoy that Why? i just didn't enjoy it you did good i know but i did not enjoy it all right you want to do it again or are you done I, I yeah i'll do it again Yeah, so you guys can see I had a little bit of technical difficulties with that hill climb in season one. Now for this year, we have a different hill climb set up. We're on the way there now. Before we hop into the hill climb, let's jump in with each of the riders and see what they think of the competition so far and what they think of their machines. Oh man, day three of Top Quad. Day one was good. Day two was good. Now here's day three. We're about to go back here and do a uh, hill climb. The hill climb, man. I rode out there earlier with Jacob and you know it was it was a little nerve-wracking. This is a very easy four-wheeler to ride and I do enjoy that aspect of it. I'd say the biggest disadvantage I've had here would maybe be my width. You know it's nice for going through narrow sections but then for a cornering and handling I do feel like this is a bit prone to coming up on two wheels which does affect my confidence at times. Power-wise, it's got the power to get the job done, but that's also a bit of a disadvantage at times as well. So I need to ride super smooth in order to make up for my power disadvantage. I'm absolutely in love with this Kawasaki. There's a lot of stuff I've built that's really fun to ride. But as far as composure and just an equal balance of power, I really do think that this Kawasaki is one of the best machines that I've ever made, or built rather, and I think it's because I've had it for a good amount of time now. So this was the Top Wide Champion. It was in different format. I had a $3,000 budget. And then after that series, I had an unlimited cap of, you know, what I could put into this. All the shortcomings were addressed. We did the suspension, uh, the engine. It was fast before, but it was kind of like a lackluster 450. And now, as you guys saw how it performed against Tyrese's Raptor, uh, it's definitely no slouch in the power department. Fox 9 News here. I'm Jake Brewer, your anchor. This is Alpine Sports Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here at the Hill Climb Challenge. Basically the way this is going to work is kind of like the drag races, except one team will run at a time. The first member of the first team will start at the start line down here, run up this hill, make a hard right, kind of side hills, flattens out, goes for about 200 yards, still ascending, run around, come down a hill about 300 yards back this way. They'll run down this stretch, and when that first rider crosses the finish line, the second rider on the team can take off and complete the hill climb as well. We'll do total time versus total time. I 
I get to go first for the hill climb. Time for my partner to go. Let's see what he's gonna do. So I know Pete's gonna make up time at the top where it gets technical. There's a lot of goofy little turns and bumps and ruts. Stock 400, I don't know how it's gonna do climbing. I think it's all gonna come down to the downhill. I've had 400s a lot of my life. Going to a 450, riding 700 Raptors, stuff like that. I know power is real in a hill, in a hill climb, so it's really tough to to say who would win. That hill looks flat. I have way steeper runs in my backyard. <laughs> most speed by far of anybody I've seen come through here. All right. Let's do it, baby. practice runs I felt like I was going to downhill really fast and I had the turn kind of figured out. It'll be interesting to see what goes down. Top quad three should be an LTR versus a 250R and uh, Banshee, two Banshees. And I think that would be better than this. quad is just not pulling right now. I think the tires are filled with mud. I'm giving it everything it has and the tires are just spinning. I'm not going fast.
All right, guys, you guys all laid down some really good times and you guys are launching like crazy, climbing the hills like crazy and blowing through the finish like crazy. Just glancing at split times every time somebody came by, uh, there was one rider who was two seconds faster than second fastest rider. Wow, that was Jesse. Wait, what? I'm definitely feeling really confident about those runs. I'm almost positive we got this. Combined times, I think we got it. Pretty confident. I bet Sabo was too afraid to run his voodoo. <laughs> and he's got the voodoo bitch he's turned on. Team's fastest heats were both second heat. Pete and Tyrese, one minute, 41 seconds. Mike and Jesse, one minute, 44 seconds. Damn it! Woo! <laughs> You're f***ing sneaky Pete, man. It's just like, I'm on a 400. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, 10 seconds faster than everyone else. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I mean, I was just as surprised as you guys were a few times. It's like, it's, just, it's interesting that uh, <laughs> I've won every event thus far. But you know, you know the other guys, they're doing really good. They're doing really good. I've, I've won every event, but I, it's just interesting. <laughs> Me and my buddies have LTRs, and I bet we could come and play and be better than you. <laughs> Three seconds. Yep. Y'all did good. I can't believe it. Jesse's was in the 47s. I know Pete's was in the 49s, and you were both in the 50s. And that's what brought y'all to about 140. Damn. All right, we're gonna have to. It's like, okay, man. Play Shit drinking. happens. We're gonna have to play some drinking games with me. Mike can win some. <laughs> yeah. <I> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete. Can you do that? Woo! Shoot! Rick Flair's just gonna come <laughs> flying in. Oh, Rick Flair's here. Woo! Diamond ring wearing. Kiss stealing. Son of a gun. Limousine riding. Limousine hey. riding. Limousine hey. riding. Well guys, this is the best of seven challenges. So at this point, Jesse and I cannot take the win based on number of challenges won. However, we're still keeping individual score and Jesse and I challenged Pete and Tyrese to double or nothing. If we got first and second in the finale race, we would take the win. Now looking at the leaderboard, the times are interesting on the hill climb. You can see that Pete and I were about a second apart, Tyrese another second behind, and then Jesse was about two and a half seconds further behind that. Unfortunately, Matt and Jacob made a mistake and uh, Jesse wasn't two seconds faster than everybody, but uh, he was actually two seconds slower. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. Now, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the split times of the course since there were different technicalities to it. Now, Pete and I were both the fastest and surprisingly in the uphill section, we had nearly identical times. I edged it out by a very small margin, but not enough to make a difference in the overall time. Jesse, however, was almost two seconds slower than any of us. This is definitely what held him back and it might have had something to do with the slipping clutch. The power going up a hill is definitely something that's necessary and that is where a slipping clutch will get you. Now, the downhill was interesting as well. Pete smoked everyone by nearly two seconds. Tyrese and I had identical times, and Jesse, once again, was slightly slower. However, the straightaway on the bottom showed some variation as well. This is where Pete's power cost him. He came in dead last. However, on this straightaway, it only cost him a half second of time. Interesting to see those splits, definitely showing some variation depending on skill and machine limitations. Let's move into the finale. And did I mention I'm trying to hit 200,000 subscribers? Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. No more time trials. We're getting after it. Head to head, passing, screaming, yelling doing everything right getting after it it is a competition but after all it's 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 about fun so that's all we're trying to do is have a blast with our buddies all right guys so we have combined a lot of the courses we've had today and we have made the finale the finale is worth double the points so if mike and jesse pull first they can still hang in this so the courses we combined is the drag race tight track and ragnarok and back to the drag race. So the way they're gonna start, they're gonna go down, do a dreaded right hand turn, right hand into tight track, run over to Ragnarok. We've cut up Ragnarok a little bit to bring it back to this field. They're gonna do a final stretch for a left hand turn around the drag strip and see who comes out on top. Hey man, just having a good time, man. Chilling, you know, enjoying everything. You know, hey, at the end of the day, may the best man win. And you know, we just out here to have a good time to put on something for the fans. Um I want to ride. That's it. I think I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. We're, uh, 
We've been uh, having some late nights and partying it up. And hey, don't tell them that. Riding every day. Uh, I'm pretty Get stoked. that camera out of my face. Whoa! Oh, Get that shit out of my We'll get back to the finale in a second. But first, I want to thank you for making it this far into the video. I also want to thank the sponsors that helped to make Top Quad possible. Thank you to PeteHager.com for supplying parts, Rocket Ron Racing for suspension, Ramosi for supplying SBC 720 bar clamps and thumb throttles, DRW for case savers and skid plates, Obor for tires, and Kenda for tires. All of the links to sponsor websites will be listed in the description below. If you're enjoying the video so far, liking the video and sharing the video, as well as leaving a comment does help tremendously with the algorithm, and we appreciate that a ton. Making these videos is a blast, but it's also a ton of work. Together, the creators in this video drove thousands of miles and worked hundreds of hours to bring top quality content to the ATV and off-road community. If you're looking for a way to support and help us, please consider subscribing to my friends' YouTube channels, Heat Hager, 700R Raptor Life, Brewer Off-Road, and of course, my YouTube channel. You can also show your support by grabbing the official Top Quad 2 t-shirt. It's available now and it's listed in the description below as well as the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the episode. No, no, you don't have to breathe hard. It's okay. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. <laughs> oh, Pete, I don't know what's wrong with them, man. They over here breathing hard, praying and shit, calling on God. Got the jitras. It's okay, man. Got the jitras. Pete, you remember what we talked about, right? Yeah, something about crashing. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> as long uh, as you know, all right? Uh, what's going on? Yeah, turn on. You're full. Come on. That's what she said. That's a good one. Hey, very nice. God damn, where's the flag, man? The flag it. <laughs> Get up here, you flag it. <laughs> oh my gosh. If your Raptor ever sounds like that, you need to take it to the shop. Uh, I might need a rebuild, what you think? <laughs> Jesse and Mike have to get first and second place. Pretty even start. Tyrese and Mike take the take the whole shot. He's too close to Mike, so they all stack up, and I, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go around him, and that's what I did. <laughs> oh, what happened? Pete, Pete took a pass. Pete's in second. He went from fourth to second. Pete looked like he didn't even know what happened. Oh, Mike spins out. Man. into the woods and they picked up the pace i mean i was running pretty hard and mike was like i was not waiting on mike at all he was he was running a great pace
and there's Jesse. And I knew it was gonna be a bit of a showdown, 400 versus 400. So they collided and Mike went in the tree. That's what I'm talking. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, I crashed, spun out, and stalled. You spun out? So I think Mike was a little too aggressive. And if Sabo wouldn't have spun out, wouldn't have stalled out, it might have been a completely different race in that final stretch. That was a good Basically, I everybody. <laughs> Wait, so who runs the Pete Hager Instagram account? I was coming for that ass. Oh, that's a from my perspective, so from my perspective, that was intense. It was. That was very intense. I tried to pass you, and I could have, but I think we would have got stuck going really fast. So I let you go, and I hit I ran right into the tree. Sorry about the little tap. The oh! ah! And then I was coming for you after that. And I came in real hard behind you, and I spun out. I didn't understand that I was in first until I got up there on the downhill. But did you know that you put Mike into the tree? No. I mean, it's, that's what happens. Yeah. I'm not bitching about it, but that's Dude, that's the one time I was like, oh, if I had reverse, I could have backed up. Because I was, I was I like, I'm on your tire. There was nothing. There's two out of who? Two out of three. Shit. Well, I'm tired as hell. <laughs> I wasn't that far behind. <clears throat> but then I stalled in the woods here, and then I just fucking gave up. I saw a red quad fly by. I was like, please be Jesse. No, I, I rode up on you hard. I didn't know you was behind me until I heard your shots. <laughs> I said, that's me. <laughs> you behind me, okay? Because oh, I thought it was Jesse. I was going to try to pass said, you at oh, one shit. point. Uh -huh. I almost tried to pass you at one point. And I saw that. I was like, oh, man, he's got him. You should have rammed the motor and shit. I wouldn't let you pass. No, it was just when we were coming into the greasy corner after Justin's corners. Uh -huh. You swung her wide. A little bit of a race recap. Mike and Tyrese fired out of the hole in the drag race as expected. Looked like Tyrese took the the long, he took the stretch. Yeah. Mike took the turn. Tyrese got him back right there at tight track, correct? Right. I ran into you at tight track. Yeah. I was trying to judge it if we could actually fit that. But if we went through as fast as we were going, that would have been a bad accident. So I just locked them all up. And he just made it, and I fucking caught my left tire. And then Jesse came pounding into me. Yeah, I guess Pete I was right stopped there. enough time. If he could get around. So I was about to give up too, but then it's like you don't know. What if he, what if he spins yeah. out? Yeah. You know what I mean? We're all pushing it hard. I heard you. I heard you coming for me. Pace, you were carrying. I was behind you, and I was like, man, Mike is moving. Even and we're in, there? in Ragnarok. Once we got into Ragnarok, you were moving, and I think we were closing good, and then you yeah. you killed out. I could see all of them, and then I stalled, <laughs> and now it's just like that. I gave up at that point. You puffed a huge blast of flames. Whoa! I don't know, I was pulling hard. I come out of the turn in way too high of a gear and was lugging, and then once it grabbed, I pulled on you. I don't know if I beat you out or not. Great. Well, we had a photo finish with the 400s pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, happened I, think, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was awesome, man. We, we, we all done good. I was right on their ass, and I was hoping Tyrese would mess up, because I knew in the straightaway I could out-pull Pete. Yeah. Well. But that's probably the best launch I've had in drag race, though. Now, me and you were right on. You, you just were, I saw you were getting it. <coughs> So I let you go, and I wanted the inside, and I, I got it. I don't think you let me go, because well, when I bumped third gear, you was, you was out of sight. <laughs> so, I mean, it ain't no such thing as letting me go when pretty much my takeoff was a whole lot better than yours. But I guess we haven't really said, since Pete and Tyrese, you guys took first and second, correct? Eh, yep. seconds may be iffy. Yeah, but but points-wise, Mike and Jesse had to get first and second place in order to take the lead for the series. So, Tyrese and Pete, your top quad two champions. Cheers! And another thing, uh, like I said again, thanks for the invite. You know, Michael Sabo, um, real off-road Pete Hager. Thanks again for, you know, inviting me. I definitely appreciate it, your top quad two. And hey, you never know what the future may hold. Signing out. <laughs>
Even though I got dead last, I thought that was an awesome finale. Tyrese coming home with the W in the finale. First place, man. Now, since this whole series has been about Rider vs. Machine, Tyrese did do a great job in the technical stuff, but the power of that Raptor giving him the whole shot and putting him way out front right in the beginning is what gave him the edge and kept him in first place. If Pete weren't his teammate, he may have been a little bit more aggressive and gone for a pass. But otherwise, Tyrese on that Raptor 700 is hard to beat. So what's the deal? Is it the Rider or the Machine? Which one really does make the biggest difference. In the end, we all agreed that it's the rider that makes the biggest difference. Depending on the course, the machine can always give you an advantage, but really when it comes down to it, putting a skilled rider on a lesser machine, they're probably going to come out on top. When it comes to a higher level of riding with equal riding skill, that's when the machine really comes into play, and having an edge in power, suspension, and other components like tires can really give you the edge. For recreational riding though, my bet goes with the better rider is going to win. Now in terms of points, on the leaderboard, Pete got first with 21 points. I was in second with 19, Tyrese third, 18 points, and Jesse in fourth with 12 points. The overall team points were 39 for Pete's team and 31 for my team. Thank you for watching this series of Top Quad. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of competitions and challenges you guys want to see on Top Quad in the future. We'll see you guys in the next series. Peace out. This is weird. So, yeah, yeah now you see how I feel. <laughs> so, Mike. <laughs> I just see kind of like outlines of people. Tyrese, I just see your chain. So, <laughs> it is super awkward, man. It is super awkward. It's just your friends. It's just your friends. So what this makes me feel like is I'm getting a physical and they're just like making eye contact. That's the awkwardness you feel. <laughs> What's up? You guys <laughs> got stacked up. I've been watching pretty closely and I feel like that Brewer YFZ might be bent. <laughs> Is anyone else seeing this? <laughs> They're not even going that fast. Well, let's cap some asses. <laughs> I didn't get paid anything to be here. This is vacation to me. You all should sell all of your quads. You're worthless. Let's cap some asses. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> let's cap. <laughs> Let's cap some asses. <laughs> just want to thank everybody for coming out, seriously. Uh, the, the whole crew isn't here. There's more people that helped out. And, um, you know, the whole Brewer family helped out. They've been feeding us. They've been giving us a place to stay. All these guys drove really far. I know Pete, it's like a 12, 13 hour drive and 10 hour drive for Tyrese. It was no short trip for anybody. Matt's behind the camera right now. He had to fly out here. And uh, just a lot of people come together. We put a lot of work into this. And we're having a ton of fun out here, but it's just, it's so much work. And um, we're just like really happy to bring this together. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, just, just making this an actual thing. And uh, hopefully we can get more people out here. And we're planning to do this more and more in the future and grow the sport quad world. And nobody got injured. Thank God. So, <laughs> thank God. yeah. Maybe a little pride, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah that's just the biggest the, the biggest thing i wanted to say is just thank you and thank you to all the viewers and stuff because we can't do any of this stuff without you guys watching what we're doing and stuff so that's it man peace out